video sponsored by Maple Movers. No minimum order, no subscriptions. Free shipping on every item, every day at MeepleMovers.com. Hello and welcome to Brian's Got Game. I'm Brian. And today I've got a game called Sports Dice Baseball. Sports Dice Baseball is a 2-4 player dice game designed by Andy Jeremia and published by FunWiz. In this game, players go head-to-head -head in a three-inning game of baseball. There are two sets of dice, one for the team at bat and one for the team in the field. Each player rolls the dice and the outcome is the icon that appears the most on their dice. After three outs, you switch the dice and finish the inning. Icons for the batting team are single, double, triple, home run, and ball. And the icons for the field team are strike, out, double play, and triple play. So let's check it out, and I'll show you how to track your base runners, when to pass the tiebreaker token, and how to roll a home run in Sports Dice Baseball. To set up, place the field board in the center of the table, and then each player chooses whether they're going to be blue or red. And then you're going to take the power ship and flip it, and we came up blue. So that player gets to choose whether they want to pitch or bat. Let's say that they want to pitch, so they're going to be the pitcher. And then we're going to use that, put these guys over here. And we've got no strikes, no balls, no outs. So the pitcher gets the pitching dice, and the batter gets the batting dice. And then we're going to take the power ship and put it there. It will go to uh, a side once we have a tie. So both teams simultaneously Roll their dice, and then you compare who has the most of one kind. So um, over here we have, we got two uh, first base. And we have three strikes. So the first pitch is a strike. And then you roll again. All right, so now we've got four strikes, and they have three home runs. Oh, that's, oh yeah, so that's another strike. And we roll again, and we have four outs and three ball. So that's an out. So that's first out, and then the first uh, guy is out, and now we're on to the second batter. So, and you continue rolling the dice and resolving what happens. Um, let's talk about the tie. So we've got, um, we got three ball and three strike. So we can decide who will concede. Um, this is reset. So we'll say that um, the pitcher will concede, so the first ball and since the pitcher conceded, they get this. So now, in the next tie, they get to decide whether they're going to keep the token and let the other person's action happen, or give the other player the token, and then they have the power to choose next time. So let's uh, roll again. And three ball, and two out. So three ball, that's another ball. Got four strike. Strike. Uh, we've got ball. All right. So um, let's say that we got uh, this. So we've got two double plays, two triple plays, and two um, strikes. We have three home runs. So they hit a home run. He uh, first, second, third runs home, and then. Uh, they get uh, the points. And you write that on this handy dandy uh, rule sheet. So once the batting team has had three outs, then you switch, and then they are uh, the pitcher and the other player's batter. They swap dice, and then you keep playing until you have played three innings. Um, for, you, for you guys that don't uh, know about baseball, an inning is where each player has a turn. So one uh, turn being the other, uh, each side. So an inning is where both players have been the pitcher and the batter. So in this case, after this, that'll have been the first inning, and then we'll play the second inning, and then the third in inning. At the end of the third inning, the player with the most points wins. Now, also, there is uh, up to nine. So if you want to play a long game, you can play nine innings and um, a bonus inning if there is a tie. That's how to play Sports Dice Baseball. Okay, I've got my dad here for parents' opinion. So dad, what do you think of sports dice baseball? I actually felt like I was playing baseball when I was playing sports dice baseball. Uh, if you were just rolling dice while you play baseball. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I felt like it was actually an adequate simulation of the game. Um, yeah. 
it was very accurate to this. I mean, it's not like you were scoring 100 to 98. Uh, so a lot of the time was balls and strikes, but mm-hmm. that's baseball. Um, super light, super quick. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, so kind of in the how-to, um, we didn't roll, like you said, very many <laughs> um, bases. So I didn't really get to show, but you just move the guys um, to first, second, and third base um, as they go around the field. Um, just And in the rule book, it actually says um, if a situation that happens that isn't in the rule book, um, refer to actual baseball rules. Oh, okay. So it, um, like you said, it's an adequate simulation. Yeah. Uh, they follow all the rules of baseball, excluding dice rolling <laughs> and wooden meeples. Um, so components, they have the really cool uh, matte finished, custom engraved dice, and uh, those are really cool. Uh, the dice, they've got the two different sets of uh, dice with all the different symbols for the field team and the batting team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the dice are very good quality. Uh, that's probably the best component in the game. Mm-hmm. Like you said, it, you know, there's two different sets uh, for batters and the fielders, um, and there's a bunch of them. Mm-hmm. You get six each. Yeah, um, the power chip is cardboard, and also the baseballs. I didn't actually find use for the baseballs. I kind of, when we were actually playing, I just used the meeples. Um, I used the field team's meeples to track the balls and the strikes, <laughs> and then whenever one of the other the batting team got it out, you didn't need that meeple anymore. So I uh, used that meeple moved, yeah. to the out. Yeah, you could, but having the baseballs there is kind of cool. Yeah, the and they're the same same punch board as the chip, um, and then the board is actually cool too. Um, it's just a small little board fits right in the box. Yep. Um, that's components. So the artwork, um, there's not. Artwork to speak of, there's like graphic design on the field. Um, That's basically it. Uh, The cover art is cool. You got the guy hitting the baseball. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like you said, there's not a whole lot of artwork. Mm -hmm. It's just a dice game. Um, And it's actually meant, you know, to be portable. Yeah. um, To go, you know, take it someplace while you're playing the game. Yeah, Um, really, all you need is the dice. You could use little rocks as the meeples, and you could draw out a little field anywhere. Yeah, yeah, this is super portable, super quick. Um, this is also, you know, a game you could play while you're waiting for other people to come to the game mm-hmm. night. Uh, this is a game you could play while you're watching baseball, <laughs> uh, you know, while you're at the sports bar, while you're waiting for your food to come. Um, it, it's just super light and super easy. Yeah. Um, so strategy, it's a dice game. Um, the strategy really comes in with the chip. Will I let the other guy get um, a double? Or will I stop him with my triple play? Yeah, the, because this is a dice game, I mean, that inherently is random chance and luck. Mm-hmm. Um, but you're right. The Really, the, the decisions to be had are, do I give the guy the tie breaker now, or do I do it when I'm really going to get hurt? Mm-hmm. It's, it's really powerful. With a, you know, three-run home run. Mm-hmm. Since the, a lot of the games that we played, at least to the three innings, Grand Slam. you know, it was like three to one, two to zero. Uh, yeah, but I mean... I, I will say that the nine inning games that that would be a really really long game. We played six <laughs> innings, I think, and then we were like, "All right." Yeah. So the I mean, box we played a lot of three inning games. Yeah, the box says fifteen minutes. I think the three inning game is, is really solid, and I would suggest playing mm-hmm. the three inning game. Um, you know, going to six, going to nine. Okay, so you played a real nine inning game of baseball, mm-hmm. but that's just a lot of throwing dice and a lot of the same thing. Kind of gets repetitive and boring. It, it does. Though breaking it out for the three innings, um, it, it's new. Like. It's kind of, when you're playing the nine inning game, it's just kind of, you're doing the same thing over and over in the same time period. When you break it out at different times, it's a, it seems like a new experience every time. Yeah. And it's just baseball. Yep. Um, you you so play, it's, it's like playing an 18 inning game of baseball, that gets tiring <laughs> and long. It does. Now, every, every new game of baseball is a new opening. Interesting. It's interesting. That is true. Enough to play 154 regular season games. You did your resource. Resource. <laughs> you did your research. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not a big baseball guy. But... So is it easy for kids? Um, it is. You're throwing dice, and then whoever has most. Um, they're really. Um, I was like, I played a little bit of baseball, not really. And then like, I we've watched baseball. Uh, we've gone to um, some games, but I didn't know what the K was. <laughs> really? I didn't. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I mean, the K, if you're not taking the box score or, or writing things down, then, mm-hmm. yeah, you kind of know, wouldn't know that a K stood for a strike. I, I knew what everything else was except for We went K. to a Rangers game, and we watched, and they had Ks everywhere. No. They don't have Ks. All right. When they strike them out, it shows up. K. You're not watching. 
I'll point it out next time. All right. <laughs> so yeah, there's there's little reading. I mean, there's not reading. Uh, just... Once you recognize what the at first it was like mm-hmm. DP. What's a DP? A TP? A Double play. I mean, triple play. Once you figure that out, it's it's mm-hmm. pretty easy. Yep. Yeah. So overall, this was a really uh, fun, quick, easy game. It's a filler. Uh, break it out whenever. Yeah. So if you like fillers, uh, if you like baseball, definitely go check this one out. Dice. Dice and games. if you like dice chucking, yeah. Um, yeah, it's super fast, super fun. Um, sports dice, baseball. We actually found it at the Fox Mind booth. We did. Um, but it says FunWiz on it, so uh, maybe they have distribution rights. I have to go look at that. Um, yeah. But go check it out. Yeah, Sports Dice Baseball by FunWiz. Uh, thank you for watching. Brian's Got Game. Please like us on our Facebook page. This is a tweet at Brian's Got Game. Visit our webpage at Brian's Got Game.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brian's My Dad. See you next time.